Hi, I'm Kaz um, and I'm here to talk about art um, and some tips on um, doing some art activities with children and um, how to sort of spark conversations and how to interact. Um, I am a mum of um, two girls who are five and seven. Um, I teach baby massage and I'm an emotional coach for mainly children and teenagers. Um, so talking about feelings with, with different techniques, um, sometimes through play and, and art as well. Um, so we're going to sort of talk about different ways of sort of incorporating art. Um, you don't have to have sort of all the, all the paints and, and all the sort of gear. A lot of what, what I do is using recycling. Um, so that's usually quite accessible. Um, but all of these things are very sort of flexible. They're just sort of a few ideas um, to use and how to sort of, um, yeah, spark their imagination and creativity. So it'll depend on what your child is really into. So there's so, so many different ideas um, of what to do. Um, first of all, if you have got paint, um, children love getting it on their bodies. Um, you can use it in the bath if you don't want sort of too much mess. You can have bath paint um, that's usually just rinsable. Um, you, can, you can make bath paint with just corn flour and food, food dye and water. Um, or yeah, they love um, <laughs> painting their hands and their feet. Um, so using sort of handprints and footprints, um, painting outside can be can be sometimes more fun and less mess. Um, face painting um, and also body painting. Um, so with my children, we've painted our bodies, and I, I sort of they're they're as I say they're five and seven. So we point, painted like organs on our bodies, like to show them where the heart was, where the lungs are, where the, where your tummy is, and intestines, which was like um, spaghetti. Um, so in all sorts of different colours, but it was just a bit of fun. I got, I let them paint my body as well, um, which obviously they would, they would find really fun. Um, but it, that was a great conversation. I don't know if they really remembered anything, but there was a nice conversation at the time of like internal organs and like just you know a little bit of science, but very, very, very basic. Um, but it might kind of, I think it brought up a few things of where your food goes, for instance. So you could sort of draw where your food goes sort of down your body. Um, outside art, we do a lot of like kind of big art, so giant art, um, so even sort of cutting out massive bits of cardboard. Um, we've done a big butterfly from the Hungry Caterpillar once, so literally just cut out lots of those loops for both sides of the butterfly and a, sort of that shape in the middle. And each child designed their different sort of butterfly wing. Um, and it just looks great because it's very impressive because it's big. Um, and children like kind of that sort of wow factor that they've made this this big thing. Um, but if you haven't got any paints, it's it's great to kind of just use sticks and stones, leaves. Um, it's really nice to make a sort of a lion's face, for instance. You can make the lion's face out of sort of stones and twigs, and then like the the whole mane could be lots of leaves. Um, so again, it kind of just creating something that your child really really likes, whether it's an animal or. A rainbow, most children like rainbows. So if you haven't got any paints, you can sort of use different colours or different things that you find outside to make a rainbow. Um, so yeah, using nature can be great, um, using swirls, even just stones to use um, to, to do in a swirl or make mosaic pattern. Um, towering things like piling things up, children always love, whether it's a little sort of teepee sort of thing with sticks or putting stones on each other to make different castles or, or whatever. Um, and you can sort of, yeah, bring up conversations about the story of like why they why they decided to do that. Um, what do you think might happen if you pile up some stones? When do you think it will topple over? Um, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, using some recycling, I've got a few different examples. Um, my five-year-old made a rocket. So this just used two milk cartons, as you can see the kind of handles are here. So we glued the two milk cartons together. Just got tissue paper, but you can get obviously plastic bags that are different colours to stick into the, the, the bottom of the um, milk cartons and some tin foil to go around it. And she wrote on it Layla's jetpack. Um, and this was a lot of fun to make. She really loved making it because she kind of, she thought of the idea, it was for a school thing. Um, and she kind of, yeah, used the different different ways to do it. 
um, and she put Layla's jetpack and you can zoom on the front. So it was really hers. And then, but also it's not just the making of it and the creating, it's the imagination of when she kind of would put it on her back and pretend she was sort of zooming off to the moon or, or whatever the, the story would be. So with space, you can like talk about the moon or talk about where they would go or um, what they would do on the moon or other planets, that type of thing. Um, so it evokes quite a lot of kind of fantasy, I think, when you sort of think of out of this world. Um, and it's a whole kind of subject to, to go down, which is really lovely. A few of the questions could be sort of, um, uh, tell me about what you're doing. Um, I've, I've done another video with to do with food and water, so I'll sort of repeat a few of the questions um, just in case you haven't seen that one. Um, but yeah, kind of sort of show me how you'd go to the moon and how how, how fast you think you'd need to go. Um, what do you think? Um, what's happening? Those kind of questions. So kind of like what and how questions are really really good to um, to let the child lead and um, use their imagination. Um, another one, these are kind of more anim animally now, so I think most children like animals um, in some ways. So first of all, I've got a really simple one with two paper plates. You don't, you can, you can just use one paper plate really, but we just, just stuck two together and you literally just cut, cut the paper plate out and cut teeth and then you've made a shark mouth. So you can kind of use this as a, a face, as a shark teeth um, and it's just really, really fun to make and they've made um, made a yeah a shark. <laughs> no, I don't think most most children are intrigued by sharks. Um, but yeah, you could ask questions about how how sharp do you think the, the, the shark's teeth are? What do you think they eat? Um, would you like to be a shark for the day? I think getting children to imagine like what animal they'd be for the day or what superpower they'd have for the day, um, what makes them happy. All of these questions um, can sort of can come up as you're making this type of thing. What's your favorite color? Why not make a purple shark? Why not make a, a polka of yellow dot shark? Um, that type of thing. To staying on the um, ocean sort of uh, scene, this is probably a little bit um, for, for a little bit older, but it's still quite fun to do. We just had a, um, a cereal box and we kind of did different, different shelves in the cereal box. So just made sort of cardboard shelves to make the different ocean layers, for instance. So you can do this with all sorts of, um, sort of different things. It could be a house, it could be the sort of different levels of a house. Um, but my daughter was doing um, yeah, the, the abyss and the, the midnight zone, and she drew fishes to go in each of the layers of the ocean. Um, but again, it's just a, a box that you can make into something else. I think boxes are hugely popular with children. I think I would keep any box that you've got. Um, you can make cars. We made a gingerbread house with a massive box at Christmas one time. Um, the volcano, you can make um, a robot, that type of thing. So again, depending on what your, what your child is into. Um, we had a cape, so any kind of material as well. So it's not just kind of, um, sort of always cardboard and plastic. If you've got any kind of material, any old clothes that you're getting rid of, you can make one into a, a cape. We made this one into parrot wings. So children always love capes. They can pretend to be a superhero, whether it's a sheet or a hoodie or whatever it is. Making it into a cape is awesome, first of all. And um, you can also sort of split it. And we made this one into, into parrot wings just by cutting different bits of foam or, or cardboard, different colours and making it into a parrot. Um, and yeah, so again, it kind of brings up the what's your favourite animal, what's your favourite colour, um, and also incorporating maybe their favourite stories, maybe books um, that, they've, that they've got or that they've read or that they've heard from different people, um, whether it's about a parrot or a dog, and or maybe, I think children always love to say, oh yeah, I know someone who's got a dog, or I met a dog once that blah blah blah. Um, so that type of thing could be a really nice sort of conversation starter. Um, so yeah, it's... Um, also, with stories, it's also kind of nice to um, incorporate music and singing. Um, so if you do get really, really stuck with what to say or what to ask or how to sort of chat with your child, um, think of singing. Um, it doesn't have to be nursery rhymes. It can be your favourite song, whatever you like to sing. Um, and your child will love your voice. And even if you can't, if you think you can't sing at all, um, they will love your voice. It kind of 
makes you feel good um, and you don't get any judgment from your child. Although <laughs> once my, I think my daughter did at two, she put her fingers in her ears when I was singing, um, but hopefully that wasn't <laughs> just because of my singing. Um, so yeah, it releases feel good hormones in you. It also kind of encourages movement and dancing. So you might have a little dance around. If, if your child likes a song, they might join in. Um, and if they join in, fantastic, because then you're in sync and you're kind of moving to the same beat and singing the same tune um, and having a little dance, hopefully. Um, so yeah, hopefully that's given you a few ideas um, with art. Um, I think, yeah, just, it, I mean, there's so, so many different ideas with, with art. Um, you, you can definitely, you know, yeah, use the recycling the most, um, <clears throat> but use whatever you've got in your house, I would say. Um, so thank you very much. I'm, I'm Kaz um, and my website is um, happykindcalm.co.uk um, and thank you very much for having me.